Hello Flustube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I'm going to show you how some of my works, of my projects are going on, what I have finished and of course what I have started and finished, yes, because I have such a design, such a project. So this is Lady in Red Mouse by Jasmine, which was released uh, not a long time ago. I received this one and I started, stitched and finished. And you'll see all of these uh, changes and news uh, in my stitching life in this video. And I also had such a new project from uh, Honey May, <laughs> Honeyful May um, B projects. So this is a um, door bow by Dimensions and Debbie Mom. Such a beautiful one, which I was dreaming of stitching. And um, here I will probably won't show you something wow. I'll just show you what I have uh, uh, done so far with this uh, design. So I um, uh, sorted the threads because this is the old dimensions where you have to sort the threads. And usually when you have the threads from the same, how they say, uh, there was a lot of brown here, but nevertheless, it, I wouldn't say it was difficult because it helps that it helps that they say how many um, skeins they have. You see how many skeins, how many how they are called lengths, how many lengths they are giving. You see, so also it helps this thing. So I sorted the the threads. Then I had to deal with uh, how I. Uh, put the stitch here, you see, yes. this is my first uh, bow to stitch. So um, from the um, instructions, I think I understood correctly what to do, because here, actually here, it says how to calculate all the things. So first of all, I uh, ironed this one so that it would be very well ironed, because I wanted to be sure that I uh, measure everything correctly, that's why it it was like well ironed and then I took like pins and I tried to do what they asked for first of all they said that to, they said to establish the center of the whole length of this thing so this is the center because these pins are going to be here I'm not going to take them out until it's going to be uh, ready or I'm going to start stitching this this part then from the center I had to measure four um, four and one eighth for, um, inches so i i did this one so making this two this two actually they are the centers of centers yes of these two small parts two small designs <laughs> not designs two small stitches and to establish so how to make here the how to place there the stitching so i had to calculate from the uh, this point I had to calculate how much seven uh, uh, seven and one fourth inches so here actually is the center center of this design you see and on the other side I have the center and the uh, down like the um, down part or where, where I have to start for this part you see and I even started stitching actually because uh, even if the um, instruction says to start with this one I started with this one because I think I calculated correctly I hope so so actually what I started with I think you don't see there are some cross stitches because it's this one uh, black and uh, ivory actually this is black and ivory uh, thing so I stitched the ivory uh, cross stitches and now I have to stitch the, the black ones and start with the teddy bear. So yes, not a lot of stitching, but nevertheless, I did a very important part, which I think it's very, very important. I uh, sorted out the threads and I uh, like uh, calculated and uh, have all the points where I can uh, stitch. According to the um, a chart, uh, the stitch doesn't look to be complicated, so it's the same color. For example, if you look at this bear, you can see that uh, this color goes a lot. There are like there is cross stitch, I think there is a little bit of half stitch, I'm not sure. Uh, for sure, it's a lot of back stitch, some French knots, and I think some lazy daisy. Okay, I'll tell you when uh, I'll, I'll stitch, I'll tell you for sure what is going on here. So, yes, this is my progress so far in this um, project and hope next time I'll show you um, a lot of stitching 
for this design or the ready design, ready finish design. I don't know. I'll see how the, the things will uh, will go on. But for sure, you'll see how this one is going on. I want to show you how this uh, design is going on. I mean, what I have done uh, with it. So this is a Debbie Mom uh, uh, design. Uh, this is a dimension kit Debbie Mom uh, designs. Yes, the bowl, the honey home bowl. And this is what I have. So actually I have... Uh, what I say a part of it because for me this design is uh, divided into four parts you know like the two big ones bigger ones and the two smaller ones so one of the big ones it's uh, it's done uh, very easy to stitch by the way I'm stitching according to the chart why do I say that according to the chart because lately I have been stitching a lot of my designs uh, with the app cross stitch saga and I don't stitch so much with uh, a chart but here I didn't have the cross stitch saga and uh, the um, chart is pretty easy to to see so a lot of uh, how they say stitch with the same color if you can see here for example here here you see it's pretty easy to stitch or if it's a combination for example the pot here you see the blue pot it's two two colors and that's it so it's easy when you don't have a lot of uh, um, cross stitches of different uh, colors so I've been stitching on a hoop in a second I'll show you because that part is hooped and you'll see how it, it goes on. Um, I would say that there are quite a lot of stitches so if you are going to start stitching this one do not underestimate it. I don't know how many stitches <laughs> there are here but there are a lot of stitches. The thing is that they are easy to stitch and it goes quick. The um, stitching of the design goes quick but there are a lot of stitches. And um, besides the cross stitch, uh, I didn't have any half stitch here. I had the uh, back stitch, which also is a lot, but this one went very quickly. I don't know, it's not complicated, you see? A lot of back stitch, I mean back stitch in black, but it's quick. That one was quick to, to be done. And uh, also I had lazy daisy here. You see these flowers, the, stem, the uh, leaves of the flowers, they come in lazy daisy. And the uh, French knot. So French knot comes for the eye of this bird, the eye of this bird, the eye of the teddy, and this uh, sunflower. Because I suppose it's a sunflower, also has some white knots, uh, French knots. Besides this, it was supposed to be French knots on this teddy as well. If you would look at the, char uh, at the preview, you see, on this teddy there are like French knots. Honestly, from my first glance at this preview, I didn't understand why these uh, French knots are there. But I said maybe uh, just from the preview, I don't understand the beauty of it. <laughs> and uh, when uh, everything was ready and I was doing, because I left the French knots for the last part, because I said that I was teaching with a hoop and uh, I was afraid that I would... Uh, how they say <laughs> break them with the hoop that's why i left them for the last uh, part of the stitching so uh, i did all the french knots started doing on this teddy i didn't like them i didn't like them it was as if the teddy was with chicken pox i don't know <laughs> so i made a few i didn't like how it looks like how it looks like i like took them out and that's it so this teddy is going to be without the, those knots so this is um, the only change I have made so far. And I'm happy with it. And finished this one and continued to stitch the other part. You see, I even have here the uh, pins. So this is the center and these are the centers of the these two small designs here. And on this side, my husband, when he saw, so I was stitching. And I had this long thing and he said, what the hell are you stitching, woman? Said, because he hasn't uh, seen me stitching on such a long thing. and said, don't worry. Showed him the preview, said, don't worry. It's going to be a beautiful thing in the end. Yeah. Try to not to scare the, the man. <laughs> so this is uh, the second one. So that I would show you how the work is going on usually. You see this one. I'm stitching color by color. I said it's a very easy stitch, so you don't have to, to do, I don't know, very complicated moves. So I'm taking a color and I'm usually stitch all the stitches I have to do with that color of floss. 
So, um, yes, I'm going to finish this one, stitch the two little ones, and I don't know if I'm going to show you this process in this, the project, I mean, like, in between, or maybe you'll see already the ready-finished uh, design. I'll see. I said that ideally for me it would be to finish it until the end of uh, May, but we'll see. And I wanted to show you what I have been doing with this design. So this is a honey, how it's called? Let me see. Uh, beehive, beehive roll by uh, Shepherd's Bush. This one is not finished yet. <laughs> it's not finished yet because I stopped because of a thing which I want to change. So um, I stitched all the things I had to stitch. I attached the beads and I came to the point where I have to attach the charms. And the charms here have to be two bees. And the bees which I've got in the pack, they are silver beads bees and uh, that's why i decided that i want golden ones i ordered and uh, i'm going to wait for them <laughs> so meanwhile meanwhile i can uh, pull threads here do the hem stitch i can pull threads here do the edge so both sides uh what else uh, and I can show you what I have so far. I mean the stitches because this is the best way you can see the stitches which are here So actually um, here I had double cross stitch here on the top then like the come little flowers honey the uh, How these ones are called? Honeycomb oh honeycomb and the beehive and now I see that the beehive I didn't do the back stitch and I have to do the back stitch <laughs> It's good to film, you see, we can remake different things before finishings. So here comes like a vine with uh, flowers, then it's the Italian cross, which honestly I couldn't understand how to do from the instructions which were here, I mean like here. And I just uh, not googled, YouTubed <laughs> it and I saw a tutorial how this one was, that was done and I did it uh, from that tutorial, so... I think it's okay. I, at least I like how it looks like. I mean, the blue one. This is the Italian cross. Then beehives, beehives, a lot of them. Then bees, which are cross-stitched, by the way. And they are cross-stitched in, in dark gray. And there is uh, also elements with um, dark yellow, you see, to help the bee thing. Uh, bee stripes. Then the words bee. bee. And then there is... Um, how this one is called? Let me see, this one is called uh, Honeycomb Filling, and I made a mistake here, because this one actually has, I mean like in green, this one actually has to look like this one, like this one, with, which is up the lace. I made it wrong, because I looked at the, again, I looked here, I made it, and then I checked it with the preview, and when I looked at the preview, I saw that it doesn't look this the same, and I decided not to remake it, because... Kind of I like it, how it looks in the whole thing, you see? That's why, okay, this one is not made, finally made yet, so I still have time to uh, think how to do, but more or less, I, I think I'm going to let it like this. Okay, and then I attached the um, um, lace, and the lace here, by the way, the lace pattern, it's different from the one which is on the like on the photo because i understand this one was you know when this one was released just a sec i'll tell you 1996 so i understand that this one probably is the first one which was stitched photographed and then the kits were sold so of course until 96 uh 24 27 years so i understand in 27 years it's okay that this lace went out of production that's why i had this lace and uh, nevertheless i i i like it the thing is that they asked here to of course if you want to put some uh, beads mauve beads in the lace and i had to improvise to do my way because i didn't have the pattern of lace which is in the um on the uh, I mean, on the preview. And then here is some flowers, nice ones, which come with beads and the word flower and some, again, uh, olive, dark olive beads on, on. I like, I like how it turned. I like very much the combination between the this color, color of linen and the threads, which I used here. So actually everything is great. I have just to make the, um, uh, backstitch of this big beehive. By by the way, this beehive is uh, stitched in satin stitch, you see. 
and um, do the edges here, like pull the threads to the edges and wait for the bees. And I hope that next time when you'll see me speaking about this design, it's going to be a finished one. And finally, I can show you the um, roll, the Shepherd's Bush Beehive roll ready. Yes, the um, bee charms are here. This is what I chose. They can be smaller, but I chose to buy the big ones so that they could be easily seen <laughs> from a big distance, from a great distance, I would say. I don't know why. I've, I looked just at the preview and it seemed to me that they are pretty big here. And also I took into account that the original ones, original ones, I mean the ones which I had in here in the um, pack, they also were big. That's why I both the gold ones, but big ones. And uh, about the stitches, won't say anything because I already told you everything. I just did as usual the um, hem stitch here. The uh, fabric, by the way, is very stiff. I don't know if it's permine or other fabric, but it's very, very stiff. <laughs> when like making these ones, it was like really working. So this is how it looks the back and the bright yellow ribbons. Beautiful. All of them are beautiful. I just enjoy um, having them, you know, a little bit for me, it seems a lot of uh, finishing, you know, like because uh, you have to stitch everything you have. If you have specialty stitches, you have to deal with them. But the stitching goes quick, very quick, the quickest, I would say. And then it starts. So you have to count here the threads, you have to pull, you have to do the hem stitch. So I'm not doing it like in one or two minutes. Still, it takes me some time to, to finish it all. Okay, not several days, but anyway. But when you have in your hands the final uh, candy, <laughs> the final chocolate, uh, it's, uh, it's very nice to, to hold such a nice thing in your hands. So yeah, it works. Definitely, it works uh, finishing them. Very beautiful things. So, uh, it, ah, and if you just speak about the materials, I used everything, almost everything. Of course, I have threads left over. Here, it's just DMC. So, I have some threads left over. I have quite a lot of beads left over. So I would say that this would be enough for, to stitch, like to use for one more roll. And I have the bees, which I didn't use the ones, this, the uh, silver ones, which I included here. The rest, like the lace, the fabric, the ribbon, of course, I used everything. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. So, in such a way, I have one more honey uh, finished design of uh, this month, the month of May. And uh, one more design, one more project, which I want to start now, and I didn't say in the beginning of the month that it's going to be um, new project because uh, first of all I was not sure when this uh, um, design is going to come to me uh, and uh, was not sure if I'm going or when I'm going to start. So what is this? This is Just Nan and this is Lady in Red Mouse on a tin. The projects which I announced in the beginning of the month they didn't include any Just Nan but this doesn't mean that I will have a month in which I won't stitch any Nan's designs. So um, this would be the fourth uh, mouse on a teen. Uh, the first three, uh, actually last year when uh, this um, mice on, on teens were announced, it was said that there are going to be four. Two of them are going to be last year and two of them are going to be um, this year. But before Christmas, we had such a nice surprise and pleasant surprise. And we had one more mouse on a teen, a special edition, I would say. Uh, it was the Christmas mouse on the tin. I don't have that one now here with me because it lies in the box with the Christmas decorations. Uh, in the end, when I'll have all of them stitched, of course, I'm going to pull them that one out so that I would show you all of them. But now, at the moment, I have the peacock uh, mouse and I have the bee mouse, uh, which are in my in my little house, <laughs> I would say. So, in case you didn't know how they look like, they have mag magnets, they're not like going down uh, how they look like they look like this and uh, they of course they have inside they have pin cushions not pin cushions um, needle needle books yes needle books they have needle books okay so i couldn't of course 
go by and not purchase the next one which was announced by the way the previous ones i used to stitch like immediately i got the um, design but uh, now it was like uh, i got the um, parcel when i already filmed and uh, like uh, already put on youtube uh, the um, video about my cross stitch shopping okay it wasn't on but it was already on youtube that's why i didn't want to change anything and i said okay i'm going to just show you that i purchased it and i'm going to stitch it uh, so this one is called lady in red mouse i was um surprised i would say <laughs> wondered why it's not uh, called uh, lady scarlet because usually all uh, just nuns or a lot of just nuns designs with uh, ladybugs they are called uh, uh, scarlet because her name is scarlet i have such a beautiful thing here stitched a couple of years ago i think yes and uh, this one is just lady in red very classical classically called um, okay, so uh, what do we need for this design? We need um, uh, Wix Dye Works uh, linen, 30 second count, which is the color of the linen is called linen. <laughs> I have a piece which I purchased uh, before stitching all of them because uh, I remember reading on the official Just Nan site that uh, all four mice uh, will are going to be stitched on this kind of linen. That's why I thought that it's going to be enough for all of them. And I purchased a um, 13 on 17 inch uh, uh, piece of fabric. Uh, beside the, this one, uh, the um, threads, they are just DMC. Not a lot, I would say I was a little bit, again, surprised. I think I used very often the word surprised <laughs> so far. So there are like kind of uh, five uh, colors of pink, red, uh, three greens, one black and two grays yes not a lot of them i'm just i'm very curious how this one is going to turn on because uh, according to the preview um i wouldn't say that this one looks very uh, very very colorful but knowing that just then creates very beautiful things i kind of think that it's going to be beautiful in the end so it's the preview with what this one is about and the chart itself and the materials i'm not going to open the chart okay but but i'm going to open of course the this pack and i'm going to show you what's inside in case you are curious to see maybe you haven't purchased it yet or you are still waiting for it and you're curious to see what's inside of this one And this is what we have inside. We have the tin. By the way, I like the tin, how it looks like. I mean, the colors, everything is very beautiful. I like that the trimming comes the same. You see, it's, uh, I mean, like the pattern is the same, just the color is different with comparing with the other ones. And here, it's empty, of course, it's empty. It's just a, just a tin, just a tin. Uh, the, um, uh, felt which is used for the needle book for the back of the needle book i'm not using this one i'm not going to use this one because i haven't used it for the previous ones because i'm making with lean on the other side uh, then for the mouse there is the um uh, what is called down part of the mouse with a magnet because you see it goes here uh, then there is the tail of the mouse and I like very much that this one comes in red, by the way. You see? I noticed it uh, even on the preview that this one comes in red. And uh, then uh, there is the ladybug, which is a button. Button. It's a um, bead. And I don't know where it comes from, but I think it's not tierra cast. As, and it's, it's on the bow. I don't know if you can see. It's on both sides. Like, it's the same on both sides. I don't know which uh, uh, brand it comes from. And also there is the, there are the beads, they are petite beads, it's uh, red and uh, gold. And uh, then the uh, flower cap, this one, the red one. And there is a pearl, a two millimeter pearl, which is dark red, 
don't know if it can, can be seen, which is going to be, they're going to be used for her hat. So I'll have, I usually use a um, sewing uh, needle, simple one, not a long one, by the way. And I'm just gluing this, uh, this cap and the beads here so that uh, I would have a ready-made, uh, um, how do they call, uh, hat for her to pin in. Look, for this one, for example, you see, this is how it looks like. This one is simple, by the way. Because this one is more kind of elaborate, I would say. You see how it looks like. So I'm using to glue this ones and they're easy to, to be taken in and out. And uh, and that's it. Yes, these are the materials which were in the embellishment pack. And good luck to me in stitching and finishing this one. Wanted to show you what I have done so far. So um, I've stitched. So this is the mouse. You see, uh, in the beginning when I was uh, stitching uh, this uh, mice, I was, uh, for me, it was very funny how they look <laughs> before being put together, you know, like, like as if they are going to, to fly, I don't know. Uh, so it was easy, um, maybe because there weren't many colors, but the stitch was easy, nice. There weren't like uh, one stitch here, one stitch there. I mean, the same color, pretty, pretty easy, pretty fast. It was everything. It's cross stitch and there are a couple of um, three quarter stitches on the ears, but they are everywhere in each mm, mice uh, Nan has, so it's not in, only here. Ah, in and in the um, cheeks also it was three quarter stitches. Uh, there is back stitch, and the back stitch it was like uh, the one which came here in uh, uh, Ladybugs. You see, there are four here, four here. So this one was the one which was most time consuming. By the way, her eyes, uh, they are stitched in Smyrna cross and she has eyelashes. <laughs> She's very nice. Yeah, she, at least I'm looking at the others and the others don't have uh, eyelashes. This one has. Um, so uh, attach the beads. Pretty easy, as I said, pretty, pretty easy. I just uh, like ironed here some interfusible facing, how this one is called, because it's going to be nice when it's going to be put together. And um, cut the edges and I uh, work them out with uh, Prim Frey check. I, uh, in the late years, I used to do this because uh, there are no like, yeah, you know, like threads here, which drive me crazy. And for the needle book, this is how it looks like. A nice needle book. Yes, I cut this ones because when I because I'm going to turn this one inside, you see, and there is a, a lot of fabric if I'm leaving everything. But in such cases, the fabric is is less. And I also stitched uh, one more piece where I made like kind of one row of uh, cross stitches as here and left one thread and made the biscornu stitch because I'm going to attach them together for biscornu stitch. So pretty much this is everything. This is uh this are the leftover of beads. I mean, I think it can be enough for a second uh, stitch. I mean for the mouse. I'm not sure. And uh, here is her hat. I also glued the beads. How should I? I also glued the beads, and this is how it looks like. Ready to get on her head. The tail this part and probably i'm going to start putting it together and see what i will get as a final result and lady in red is ready <laughs> this is what the preview says that we should have and this is what i actually have so i um I make her uh, whiskers with a simple uh, uh, DMC thread. I, here I use the one which I use here in this cross stitches. I use uh, like six, six threads. I go from one side to the other and then I cut them and try to make them fluffy. <laughs> At least this is how I made with this one, with all of them. So far it's okay. In case they are going uh, to get, you know, you know, like not very nice, I'm going to replace them or maybe use something else. I don't, didn't use any glue, any... Um, I don't know what else uh, stitchers used to use. Uh, um, clear uh, nail polish. No, <laughs> just simple thread. And here, this is 
her hat, her tail, red tail. This is the button. I attach this button here with YLI thread so that it would look more or less accurate. And the teen, because the teen has this one. Yeah, the needle minder, which in my case is just the decoration. So this is how it looks, this one. This is this side. This is how it would look. I like very much how uh, the, the idea of having them on a magnet, you see, like. So this is how they look like. So actually waiting for the last one, the fourth, the fifth, the fifth mouse on the tin and we'll have a full collection of mice on the tin. And this is Lady in Red, which is the latest one, which I stitch. I hope you like it. I worked on it very quickly, I would say. I don't know, maybe I got used with the other ones, but it was pretty, pretty quick. So this is how it looks like. That's everything I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was interesting for you and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.